In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a 1020 tray holder out of a single cedar fence picket. If you're new to this channel, my name's Lee. This channel is all about DIY for gardening, small homesteads, and saving money. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let's get started. First, pick out a decent fence picket and rip it into three pieces. One piece is going to be two and three quarter inches wide, and the other two will be an inch and a quarter wide. Then take the two and three quarter inch piece and cut it into four parts. Two that are one foot ten and a half inches long, and two that are eleven and an eighth inches long. After that, cut the one and a quarter inch pieces into six pieces, all one foot ten and a half inches long. Now for the crate handle openings. They're located in the middle of the crate ends and measure three and a half inches long by one inch wide. Use a one inch diameter hole saw bit to cut out the rounded parts of the handles. Then draw a line to connect the bottom of the holes and cut the rest out with a jigsaw. Next up are the tray notches on the crate sides. This process is similar to the handle openings but are a different size, 4 inches long by 1 inch deep. Clamp the side pieces together and lay out the notches in the center top of the side pieces. Use a 2 inch diameter hole saw bit to cut out the radius portions of the tray notches. Draw a line to connect the bottoms of the curves and cut along the lines with a jigsaw. Clean up the handle openings and tray notches with a rasp. Cedar's easy to shape with a rasp because it's soft. To clean them up a little more, I like to round over the edges of the tray notches and handle openings with an eighth inch radius round over router bit. It's not absolutely necessary to do this, I just like a little more finished look. Assembly of the crate's easy. Begin by placing the tray ends upright. I like to use a couple little jigs to keep them steady. Apply some glue to the edges of the ends. Make sure the best looking side of the wood faces outward. I used a pneumatic stapler with quarter inch by inch and a half staples, putting three staples in each end. If you prefer, you could also use a pin nailer. For the bottom slats, I begin with the outside edge slats and attach them on both sides. Again, I'm using quarter inch by inch and a half staples. To keep the spacings even, I use two blocks cut just shy of one inch wide. I work my way towards the center from both sides. This way, the center space is perfectly centered on the crate. Remember to switch to shorter staples or fasteners when you reach the end handle openings. You don't want any fasteners sticking into the handle openings. Lastly, I use the router to round over any of the top inside or outside edges that might need it. Then I hit all the outside edges with the finish sander. And at that point, it's pretty much done. You could use boiled linseed oil as a finish to make the crate last longer and look a little better. For the solo cup holder, you're going to need an 11 inch wide by 1 foot 9 and a quarter inch piece of coroplast. Basically, it's the same material that the political yard signs are made of. In fact, it's actually a really good way to recycle those things. I cut three 1 inch diameter holes for bottom watering. All the other holes are 3 inch diameter for the solo cups. I used hole saw bits again for all the holes. In the future, I'll probably make a jig for a plunge router just so I can make them quicker. After I'm done cutting the holes out, I hit it with the sander to clean off all the plastic nubs. I made this tray crate because the trays I had were too flimsy to move when they were full of solo cups. I ended up using cardboard boxes from Costco, but even then the cups would tip over when the plants grew bigger. This tray crate solves both problems, and not only that, it's cheap and easy to make, plus... It looks pretty good in the greenhouse, too. If you're a plans and hand kind of person, you can find the plans for this build in my Etsy shop. Also, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.